This is my SP32 camera module based Wi-Fi camera with pan and tilt control. It streams live video in real time and lets me wirelessly adjust the camera angle using my phone. With just a tap, I can move it left, right, up or down for a full 180 degree view, perfect for surveillance or smart monitoring. Want to build this yourself? Stay tuned as I show you how to make it step by step. To build this, we will need an ESP32 camera module, an FTDI USB2 TTL module, two servo motors, but we also need to create a pan and tilt system ourselves. Just like I did, you can mount the servos in a way that allows smooth horizontal and vertical movement for full control. A breadboard, some jumper wires, and a 5V 2A power adapter. First, we will prepare the ESP32 camera module for programming. To do this, I am placing it on a breadboard and connecting the FTDI USB to TTL converter. This setup will allow us to upload the code. Follow the wiring diagram on the screen. Once it's ready, now we are connecting the USB cable to upload the program from the computer. I have provided a link in the video description. If you go to the link, you can download the required file. After downloading, extract the file and you will get a folder like this. Open the folder where you will also find the connection diagram. Now open the program file in Arduino ID. Here you need to update the Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password. Next open the board manager, search for AI ThinkCAD ESP32 CAM and select it. Also select the correct USB port then click on OK. Now we need to just click on upload, wait a few seconds and the code is now uploaded to the ESP32 camera module. Now we need to open the serial monitor, however we don't see any output yet. There's one important step left. We need to remove the connection between ZPIO1 and the ground pin, then restart the board. Now we can see that the board has provided an IP address. If we enter this IP address in our browser, we can see that our module is now streaming video in real time. Let's move on to mounting this camera on the pan and tilt system and attaching the servo motors. Now that we have successfully uploaded the code to the ESP32 camera module, we can remove all the wires used for programming. Next, we move on to the second part. Connecting the servo motors to the ESP32 camera module, we will mount the camera onto the servo motors, allowing it to move left, right, up and down. Follow the diagram on the screen to connect everything properly. Now let's access the live stream from our mobile. I will open a browser and enter the IP address we found in the serial monitor. After clicking go, we can see the real-time video feed from our ESP32 camera module. We also have control buttons for moving the camera up, down, left and right. By pressing these buttons, we can easily adjust the view as needed. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.